And uh, so let me show you a few real examples of what we've created for a client that has been used. And I'll bring you through some use case. My, my team of marketers are in Switzerland in three different cities, and we work across all Europe. Uh, we even sometimes work in the US for, for some, some um, uh, companies that are based in Europe usually. And so I'd, I'd like to show you what, in, what real case we had. So uh, let's have a little look. First, I'd like to present you Nicolier. So Nicolier is a, is a wonderful uh, swimming pool and spa maker. Uh, and um, we had to do a campaign and it's winter and we cannot film or take pictures of their swimming pool now because most of them are empty and there is no way we can, we, we have to do something now. So we decided to do a concept saying, you imagine we make it real. You imagine we make it real. And then we thought, okay, let's go further. And we took the description of the dream of what Nicolier would like to make happen. And um, then we made uh, those visuals and they said, yes, we would be technically able to make it real if someone had the budget for it. And it's very interesting because it, it, it allowed us to go much further than what we would have done because let's remember it's a, it's a campaign we're going to do for two, three months. Then summer's going to come. We're going to be able to do shooting and next year we'll have, um, we'll have something great. And, but, but in between, we were not going to hire a 3D studio. And that works really well. So that's a good example. Um, another example is someone who contacted us saying he would like one of those pictures with explosion of food to talk about a festival where you, during the whole day you can try uh, any type of food. And he showed us the kind of picture we wanted. So we showed him how we do that. I don't know if you've seen that, but it's with little wires. And uh, we have a photographer who know how to do that. So it takes roughly three to four days to plan the studio then one to two days to take the pictures and one or two days to assemble. I, I let you imagine the cost for one picture and he didn't have the budget. And we, we told him, hey, you know, we are interested. We don't know if it's gonna work, but we would like to make it with AI. And because it's online only, we don't need a super high resolution. So let's try it. And we did it and it works and he was happy. And then he say, I need a bit more of this, uh, a uh, mayonnaise uh, um, or, or sort of cocktail sauce that there is, that is something that in a photo shoot, he would have had to be on the set um, for two days and to validate because we would have to redo everything to do that. And for us, it was like, oh, okay, actually, we're just gonna change a bit the prompt and see what's coming out. And it worked and it create a very happy customer for something that was different. So it allowed us to fill a gap that we couldn't fill before. Um, so just to, just to try to be concrete, because when I say saving thousands or tens of thousands, this is exactly what I mean. So just round numbers, Olivier, how much uh, did, would, would uh, this have cost if you had used a professional photographer in a three-day shoot versus how much, if you don't mind sharing, did this cost? Five to 10K, five to 10K minimum. And if we take a photographer that is used to that, it's gonna be 12 to 20. Got it. So they, you charged five to 10K and it would have been at least twice as much. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. And he, you know, uh, we, we charge for this one, in the end, I think we charge less than 2K. Ah, so, you know, you charge 2k it could have cost anywhere from 5 to 20,000 exactly yes so that's that's how you save money and the result is 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 not as good as it would have been if the professional photographer had done it you know if you really look at it closely you'll see it kind of dissolves a little bit uh, but it's more than good enough for the need because this wasn't a print magazine, this wasn't a billboard, this was an online uh, advertisement. And so uh, what essentially would have happened is the concept would not have happened uh, for the digital ad because he didn't have the, and now it did. So not only did he save a lot of money, your, your client, but they were actually able to do a campaign that they couldn't have afforded otherwise. And both of those are really important. Like, I think not only are you going to be able to do things cheaper and faster and better, but I also think you're going to be able to do things you couldn't have otherwise done because AI is allowing you to do things cheaper and faster and better. Mm -hmm. And a, a, good, a good question from Esther, is it cutting down our profit? Well, it took us less than 10 hours. So 
$200 an hour, I'm really happy. And if we would have done it in a studio for 10K, it would have burned for us much, much more than, um, than 100 hours. Uh, it, it would have burned much more because we would have put an assistant, we would have put a project manager, we would have put two junior to learn these techniques. And, and so in the end, the price per hour was higher there. Um, this is another great example that um, we at Enigma we like. Uh, you, you know, I want to I want to pause there for a second yeah, sure. because uh, Elizabeth Starkey, who does the kind of imagery that we're talking about um, in this picture, said in the chat, "This makes me sad, right? Because I would have done this uh, kind of creative thing. I would have been paid uh, for that, and now um, that opportunity might be t taken away from me." and I would actually encourage you to think a little differently, which is what Olivier said right at the end, which is you will be able, to, if you master these tools, you will be able to get a better product faster to your client at a higher hourly rate. So you, a lot of that time, those three days spent with that client might've been time wasted. And so you also are now gonna have access to a level of client that currently can't afford to pay you. So I would, I would try to just think everybody think differently. If you're a copywriter or a graphic designer, you know, even a musician, like AI is here, it's a reality. These tools are not going anywhere. The, the, the Pandora's box is open, but I do not believe that creative and knowledge workers are gonna have to go away. Um, I think that there's still room for us and a need for us. Sorry, yeah. I'd love to hear about this beautiful image. Yeah, I'd like to fully agree with you because um, it's not instead of, it's on top. This festival was two weeks later. We would have never be able to set that picture. It was only for Facebook and, and Instagram. We would have never, it would have never made sense to make that kind of cost. So that was filling a gap. So it's it's something else. And, um, and it doesn't make artists totally obsolete. L let's look at this example. So... Uh, at Enigma, we have this in our branding. We are we are uh, putting ourselves as explorer, explorer of new way to do marketing. So we usually have images of exploration, and uh, at very high cost, we made a video that present um, the Enigma concept of uh, a sort of the why of Enigma, and this used image of space. That was very hard to do. We use image from the NADA that are free of copyright, and and now that I see the kind of image that my my two colleagues, uh, Alex and Clément, make, I'm like, wow, it has made our video completely obsolete and we can redo it using that and it's much better. And and uh, and this is fascinating because then, then I ask my colleague, okay, so you give me the prompt and I can be as good as you. And my colleague Alex laughed and said, no, the, you, you know nothing about design to beat me. And I was like, oh, come on, I, I'm a director of a marketing agency since 15 years. I know nothing about design. So no, no. Um, no, you you don't. Like uh, a, a, I'm a trained designer, so I know history of art. So what will happen is that when you prompt, you don't know how to refine because you don't have the vocabulary. When you prompt and ask, I want a door to the space, you don't know what type of architecture you 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 know what type of architecture in your head, but you don't know how to transform it into a word that will be understood by the machine. And I do. When you want to name architects, you can name five top of your head, maybe 10. I can name a hundred and I can name a family of them. So I can have a discussion that is much more productive. So I'm not scared at all. My knowledge of history of art makes me a better prompter, a better prompt engineer than you. And I, I thought, oh, it's a bit the same. I know how to use Illustrator, but I can't make a good logo. But technically I know how to use Illustrator. And that it's it's a whole different thing to make something great with that. 